All right, so today I'm gonna review two pairs of uh, Vibram Five Fingers. We got the Spirit on and the normal KSO. So let's do the one I bought first. That's the KSO. Um, it stands for Keep Stuff Out. Pretty simple. Now. I've used these a lot. I've ran a lot with them, but not only that, I've been walking a lot as well. And I gotta say, the first time I put on Fibrin Five Fingers, it felt kind of strange. But once I got used to having, you know, my toes into all these pockets, it felt really, really good. As you can see, I've I've uh, worn them out pretty, pretty good. They um, I stopped using them, I bought a new pair. Um, they're falling apart basically, but I've used them a lot. They've lasted for a really, really long time. I first started using them when me and my brother went to La Palma in the Canary Islands. Um, it's a really rocky place, which meant that when I was running with them, because the sole is so thin on these KSO, um, it's, I think it's about three millimeters or something. Um, some of the larger rocks, like rocks like that, kind of tend to hurt a little bit. So ideally, if you're gonna buy the KSO, um, not the KSO Trek, by the way, that's another one, the simple normal KSO, um, it would have to be used, I would say, only on asphalt or um, doing a track, uh, you know, on a running track. Uh, simple clean surfaces like that that being said I don't really endorse running on really hard surfaces I believe we're meant to be running on softer surfaces such as savanna or forest ground and when I do that it feels really good but as soon as I start running on really hard hard stuff like concrete and stuff like that it doesn't feel good there's just something weird going on you know, the wonder of these Vibram Five Fingers, or Vibram Five Fingers, whatever you want to call them, um, is really that, for me, I use them for everything. I don't just run in them, I walk in them, and I climb trees in them. You know, you can do anything, because you have so much control. You can, you can feel the ground beneath you, the smallest changes of um, height. So when you're say you're climbing a tree, you can almost wrap your feet around branches like you would uh, using your normal feet. The other pair I'm going to review is the Vibram Fivinger Spiridon. Uh, cool name and looks even cooler underneath. Now, the reason I bought these is, as I said, because I felt like I needed more um, protection from larger rocks and these do the trick. I can definitely run on a little bit harder surface with these. The sole is slightly harder, um, maybe a millimeter or so, I'm not entirely sure. It has these kind of lumps underneath that makes you, um, you know, have more control when you're running in like forest area or something like that. They're basically for more trek kind of running. Or walking, whatever you fancy. They also fare better on harder surfaces, uh, such as asphalt and concrete uh, because I feel like just that small um, difference in, in thickness makes it a little bit softer. Now if you're gonna buy Vibram Five Fingers um, I suggest you get a, uh, a pair of these um, socks which has toes. Uh, I suggest you get the thicker ones because they do last longer and just feel overall more strong. Uh, I've used these for a really, really long time and as you can see they're kind of uh, worn out as well. They kind of smell like Doritos and that's a sign, you know, maybe you should wash them. But anyway, they work and I really enjoy running with them because in the beginning I was running without socks and that kind of made me get um, blisters when, when using them. That does go away though if you continue using just the normal, you know, no, no socks. 
but um, it's gonna be a little bit painful for about a couple of months so you know if you're gonna choose which pair to buy I can't really tell you they have pros and cons the Spiridon are a little bit more hardy better on f different surfaces but if you're gonna run track I would go for the smaller uh, sole um, it, it's, they're a little bit lighter not much but I don't know a little bit lighter the good thing about the five fingers is that they really do last a long time uh, with normal running shoes they kind of flatten out over time and you lose the effect of um, the sponginess however with the five fingers they're supposed to be super flat you're not losing any any height so all you have to worry about really is when they start falling off I mean you can see the sole layer is kind of <laughs> leaving and you don't really want that that's why I switched them out and I'm very happy with the spirit on as well but they have different purposes I really enjoy them I probably gonna have a pair of five fingers in my house my entire life because what they're good for they're the best for so honestly in my opinion don't believe the people who say that five fingers is just a fad um, I've tried them and they are very good for what they're good for you can run in them you can climb in them you can walk in them I've trekked the most insane mountains areas with just these you don't need big heavy boots so go buy your Vibram five fingers I got these online um, but you should probably go check in your local shoe um, department um, for what size you're gonna need because the the sizes of the five fingers tend to be a little bit different from from other shoes from what I've gathered but yeah all right so thanks for watching see you around and uh, have fun